you want me to wait on you, I ain't wait on you. If you don't know that you broke, that's your problem. Hallelujah. You got a, a need or you got a, a desire or a dream or goal or purpose or design. Hallelujah. You need money for it. And, and in order to go get the money, you need guts and you need faith. Because some people don't go for nothing because they don't believe. It's all, that's why you don't do nothing because you don't believe. You stay in the same dead situation. Broke, busted, and disgusted, praying, but not doing it. And faith without works is, if you ain't doing nothing, you ain't going out there and get your hustle on, that's your problem. But God is saying, if you go, if you go, I will bless. If you stay, you ain't getting nothing. Keep praying and fasting if you want. You're not going to get a thing. Hallelujah. But he says, whatever you apply yourself, you will produce. Yeah, Heavenly Father, we just lift up this time unto you. Every situation, every condition, every position, every posture, every desire. God, some people need for you to kick them in the butt so they can get for Other people need more faith. Other people need a holy hookup, a connection, a favor. Some people need a dream. Some people need a goal. Some people need for you to open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing. Some people need some help. Lord, in Jesus' name, put a fire in them to go after what they're after. In Jesus' name, bless these offerings. Multiply them, oh God. Amen, amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm just going to preach as fast as I can as my pork skin is being crunchified. Hallelujah. We want to make sure. Amen, if that's a word. Glory to God. But how many know that, um, where's my, my notebook? There's my notebook. Hallelujah. How many know that God is in the blessing business? Amen. Amen. Sometimes he just blesses us too much, too much, too much. Amen. And um, it, it's, just, it's just beyond even expressing. Hallelujah. Starting off with salvation and then peace. And then his working in our lives. Some people don't know that God will never work it out the way you told him to work it out. His plans, his ways are above our ways. And he declares, I know the plans I have for you. Amen. I know the plans that I have for you. So, uh, um, I, I, never, I never, never wanted him to do me like he's done me. But I'm glad he did. I never told him to do it this way. I never asked him to do it this way. But I'm glad he, he did because not only did he give me what I needed, but he, he, he gave me what I didn't know I needed. And he's building character more than anything. He's building God likeness more than anything. He's building an attitude that believes God in spite of the situation. He's going to show himself God. Hallelujah. So that you will never, ever, ever, ever be a slave to that thing that's holding you captive. Hallelujah. I need to tell you a story, but I need to preach it at the same time. And a lot of people have not read this scripture uh, and have not processed it correctly. But I'm giving you Daniel chapter 4, verse 16 to 18 to make my point. Daniel chapter 4, verses 16 to 18. Hallelujah. You can keep going back in the Bible. Amen. Well, I don't have an usher, but this is glorious time. Right? Amen. Okay. That's that's uh, but you can't be trusted with scrolling. Give her back her Bible. Hallelujah. Amen. How many know Gloria will go and, and scroll while she come on now? Thank you. Rolly says, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Gloria says, excuse you. Amen. <laughs> Don't help me out, Rory. Don't help me out. <laughs> Let me have you stand quickly, just for reverence's sake, in my heart. Chapter 3, verse 16 through 18. I don't know why I put chapter 4, but it's chapter 3, verse 16 through 18. Wait, what's Daniel chapter 3. I know, I said 4. I said 4. Hallelujah. I'm old, so I can do that. Amen. That's right. We can get away with stuff like that. Get an attitude. Drive slow on the streets. I can do whatever I want. I'll, I'll tell you other things we old people do, but I don't want to say it here. And I get in trouble. I'm not saying it, sweetheart. She's going like, man, I can't believe I married you. 
Dan Daniel chapter 3, verse 16 through 18. 16 through 18. Amen. And I, I turned this time, and you can say it with me, I'm not built to bow. I'm not built to bow. I'm not built to bow. No, 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 no. I'm not built to bow. We got this straight out of the Bible. Verse 16 to 18 declares, giving glory to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Father, give us a blessing through your word. An awesome blessing. Do a miracle. Do miracles in our heart. Let there be an impartation to our soul and our spirit. Hallelujah. Minister to our mind that we can recall your word. So when the situation arises, Lord God, we will make an application and we will download. We will make a download of the anointing and the word of God to our lives. In Jesus' name, we beg you, amen and amen. Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we're thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to save us from it. And he will rescue us from your hand, O king. But even if he does not, we want you to know, O king, that we will not serve the Lord, uh, the, the, excuse me, we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. We're, we're not built this way, king. We're not built this way. We're not. Sit, 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 sit and sit, tell somebody, I'm not built that way. I'm not built that way. I'm not built that way. Hallelujah. And the subtitle is, Don't Bow Down and You'll Go Up. Don't Bow Down and You'll Go Up. Hallelujah. Don't Bow Down and You'll Go Up. Hey. Don't bow down and you'll go up. I'm not built that way. Can, can I ask you a question this morning? How many have come to learn? How many want to learn this morning? So I can know who to preach to. Those that won't raise your hands, I ain't even going to talk to you. Hallelujah. You can stay dumb and dumber. Hello? I got no problem with that. I, I, I want to teach people that came to learn. When I got saved, I said, I want to learn this God thing. Teach me. Amen. And I've been in this book going 35 years, and I'm still learning. Amen. I'm still learning. I'm still seeing stuff coming out my, coming my way, coming my way, coming my way. I'm still learning. I ask you another question. What do you call a naked bear? What do you call a bear that's naked? Uh, Mildred, what do you call a bear that's naked? A pair, hello. <laughs> Juan, did you get it? Dominican was Espanol. Amen. <laughs> it ain't that difficult to understand, right? <laughs> it ain't that difficult to understand. And it ain't that difficult to understand that, that you will be tempted to bow to temptations. You will. There'll be some temptations coming your way that you'll be tempted to bow to. There's some people think they get saved and every temptation just disappears. Lie! Lie! You will be tempted. You will be tempted to bow down to certain pressures. Hence this story. Hence this illustration. Hence this biblical principle. And I'm just going to give you the short version because I know you're going to go home and read the whole thing, right? I promise. I will, I will, I will cross my heart and hope that no, no, I better not do it. Uh, <laughs> pinky swear. Uh, story was they took some whole bunch of Jewish people exiled to Babylon. And while being there and, and God dealing with the king Nebuchadnezzar. God showed himself time and time again. These youth were there in, in exile about 15 years. They are about 20 years old by this time. And, and they, were, they were in prominent position. God had placed them to be heads because God had blessed them with knowledge and wisdom and understanding. 
and, and, and far beyond anyone in those parts. And this king, even though he had known before that God is an awesome God. Amen. Amen. That God had, had revealed to him hidden things, extraordinary things, spiritual things, you know, uh, 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 divine things. He showed him a whole bunch of stuff that he himself noted, and, and even in the passage before this, that, that God is an awesome God. That there is no God like him. That he can even in, interpret dreams that have not been understood by anyone. God can tell him meanings of things that are not even yet. And he recognized that. But please note this. That even though God do miracles for people, that God brings blessings on people, that God show up with a whole bunch of stuff, people won't change. Amen. They stay dark. Their understanding stays dark, the Bible declares. They just don't, won't, won't, won't receive it. They, they won't change. They just stay, even though God showed up, right? Even though God healed them. Even, even though God delivered them from all kinds of substances, even though God blessed them, even though God rescued their, their marriage, even though God brought them out of jail, even though God, God made that car turn to the right and set a head on, on collision with them, this king still had an attitude, had a situation. And I don't know what possessed this king, but, but something possessed him and he established, if you look at uh, um, Daniel chapter 3, verse 1 and following us, I hit and miss a couple verses here. That King Nebuchadnezzar made an image of gold 90 feet high and 9 feet wide. And he set it up on the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. He then summoned the satraps, perfects, excuse me, prefects, governors, advisors, treasurers, judges, magistrates, and all other provincial uh, provincial officials to come to the dedication of the image that he had set up. Verse 3. So the satraps, prefects, or leaders, governors, advisors, treasurers, judges, magistrates, and all other provincial leader officials assembled for the dedication of the image that King Nebuchadnezzar has set up, and they stood before him. Then the herald loudly proclaimed, this is what you are commanded to do. The king's decrees. Things that you're commanded to do by governing powers. Be it man or be it supernatural. Things that you're forced to do or so they believe. Come on somebody. Because I ain't built to bow. I ain't built no matter who. No matter what position, no matter what power they have, not here, not today, Satan. I'm not built to bow. I'm not built to bow. Verse 4, then the herald loudly proclaimed, this is what you're commanded to do, O peoples, nations, and men of every language. As soon as you hear the sound, of the horn, the flute, sitter, lyre, lyre, excuse me, harp, pipes, and all kinds of music, you must bow down and worship the image of gold that King Nebuchadnezzar has set up. And whoever does not bow down and worship will immediately be thrown into a blazing fire. I don't know what kind of music you like. But the devil's going to have you. He's going to try to get you to bow down to something. Hallelujah. There's going to be something play that may play on you. There's going to be something that will that, provoke you. You know that really. Some people like the drum. Some people like the bass. I'm a trumpet man. I like me some trumpets and some violins. You know, there's something that you're going to like, so you're going to be tempted to go after. And as soon as you hear that, he tells the people, bow down and worship. You better do what you're told. You better do what you're told. If you don't do what you're told, 
you're going to die. The pressure is on. The heat is on. The pressure is going to be on. You're going to be provoked. You're going to be seduced. You're going to be pushed too. You're, 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 you're going to be racked. Mm. These three Hebrew boys, they're known in, of course, all the other Jewish people that may have not, not succumbed to the temptation to bow before this image. What does it look like to you? It's an image. What kind of image? I don't know. What's your what's what's your what's your flavor of the day? I like tamarind. Anybody here like tamarind? Amen. Tamarindo. Anybody like coconut? Grape. Huh? Those grape. Those remember those grape snow cones? The Puerto Rican guy used to come across and scrape it and Ooh. Come on, what's your flavor? What's your image? What's what what is the temptation? You might be. Is, is it bound down to business idols? Huh? To do business? Uh, to, to get ahead? To make money? To get over? To go after? What are you tempted to bow down to? S sexual pleasures? I need a man. I need a woman. I need any. Come on. Come on. Where's the pressure? What is the idol that you may succumb to and bow down to it? Pastor, I can't live without it. I need that. I gotta have that. The pressure's gonna be on. Is it substance abuse or, 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 or substance use? What is it? Some people succumb to it. Because I say substance abuse, that's the abuse, but something use. See, some people want, want you to succumb to their pressure because they want to use when they're around you. They want to bring it into a Christian household. I, it's okay for me to go into a Christian house and, and, and smoke my doobies and, and, and get my drink on and smoke my cocaine and, and bring my worldly music in there and my worldly, uh, my, my demonic movies and, and everything else. Maybe the pressure is for you to bow down to job pressures and practices. The boss wants you to do it this way or that. <laughs> wants you to change the odometer on the on the car so the sale can. Wants you to not to make it to church. Make just this one time. The devil's a liar. Listen to me, Christian. Don't be ignorant. It's never that just one one time. It's idolatry. The image, nice business. Prosperity, money for you. They're going to make you the boss. Yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. huh? They're looking down. I know I got it now. When you look down, oh, hallelujah. You look to the left or to the right, you're talking about somebody else. Hello. <laughs> Bow down to religious self-righteousness and good standards. Some people want you to qualify your relationship with God by you being good and doing good. And being good and doing good is good. Don't, don't, don't stop being good and doing good. But to, for me to bow down as the mark, that's an image. That's an idol. Self-righteous works. We don't go for that. We go for a relationship with God. We don't go for works. Works never quite my, my religious brothers out there that have bowed down to self-righteous keeping of the principles and precepts and, and, and standards and commandments of the Bible. 
Walk in it. Let me go ahead of myself. That's the Bible calls our best works filthy rags. Maybe you're to bow down to foul stuff. F O U L. Foul stuff. You know, when you're tempted to become foul and nasty, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, I'm going to cuss you out. I'm going to cut you. Church people cutting each other. Uh, you took mine, so I'm going to take your man. become a fusser? A fusser? Are you a fusser? Are you a negative person that I always say negative and fussing? Fussing and negative. I, 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 made it. I, I took on a 40 day challenge. I said, Lord, I'm not going to debate with people anymore. No more debating. Everything's a debate. Everything is a, a debate. Huh? I'm not going to contend with people. I'm not going to contend with people. No, no, no more. Uh, I, I'm not a politician. There's no more debating. There's, 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 there's no more fussing and cussing and arguing with difficult people. Trying to convince them of something that they're not even listening to you about. Getting into foul stuff. The temptation is to become foul. Hello? The temptation is to become foul in everything, in, in, in your music. How is it that you know all those worldly music words? How do you know every worldly actor? Every worldly, every nasty uh, video vixen? Huh? That you know every 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 word to every song. I don't listen to it. I hear you humming as soon as it come on. Foul entertainment movies that are full of violence and, 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 and witchcraft and voodoo and spiritism. Can I tell you anything that's got a spirit is promoting spirits without the spirit of God, you should be turning it off. Don't put that foul thing in your mind, in your eyes, in your heart, in your soul. That should, that should be something you bow down to because they ain't giving nothing else on television. Amen. I gotta watch this foul movie and then blood and guts, they just killed 200 people in the first five minutes of the movie. What's the guy's name? Jack what? Jack. John. John. You see, she knows. Oh, they're going to answer a preacher's questions. Amen. John Wick. You better stop watching him. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I got it. I got it. John Wick. Killed 5,000 people. Shot the dog. I mean, it was crazy. I don't know. Why are you asking me one or two? Don't even go there. What are they trying to get me? These church people are mess. Forget that. The temptation to fall into all this foul stuff of greed. Greed. Church people being greedy? Becoming materialistic. It, 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 that, 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 that somebody said to somebody, learn this lesson. Learn this lesson. It's not about you. Ooh. Why God and me? And why doesn't God answer my prayers? And why God do this? Can I tell you, it's not about you, Juan. You get it twisted, play a player. Not about you. Let me let me hurry up. Selfishness. Being tempted to become selfish. Amen. 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 
Let's go to my restaurant. Let's go to where I want to go. Let's do what I want to do. Let's not go to where you. Let's not be involved with it. Let's not let you. Amen. Man, I just, did they pick up the offering away? to bow down to the idol of fear. The idol of Corona. The demon idol of Corona. Corona is telling the church what to do. Corona is telling the church what to do and when to do it and how to praise God. You can't sing. Corona dressing is running the church of Jesus Christ. Oh, not here, Bobby. Not here. Not today. Not today. I went to a church over there in Puerto Rico on Sunday. That thing was packed. Had a whole bunch of they were socially distanced. And they do one more than we Americans do here. Uh, not, not only did they check you for fever, have your mask and do your hands, they spray your shoes. They ain't playing. But they meet five times a week. They have church and outreach five times a week. I was tempted to trade my membership. <laughs> and guess what? The youth were meeting somewhere. It was all the old people. It was all the old people. It was the senior saying, they were like, that's right, we're going to go out there tomorrow. And then we're back on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, we're doing an outreach. And then on Thursday, is the men's ministry. And on Friday, I said, man, really? Do you guys go? I can't come to, I can't, can't get them to come to church on Sunday. And the preacher was declaring, hallelujah, the kingdom of God, of God suffers violence and the violence taken by force. Yeah. Like, you know, we don't play that here. We don't play that here. Tempted. Hmm. I'm not built to bow. I'm not built to bow. I'm just going to tell you, I'm not built to bow. I'm not built to bow. Because it don't feel right as a Christian. It don't feel right. It don't feel right for you to bow and start cussing and fussing and arguing with people all the time. It don't feel right to me because I ain't built that way. I'm built for holiness. I'm built for righteousness. I'm built for fruit of the spirit. Not the works of the flesh. Happy somebody. I'm not built that way. I'm not built to uh, lay back and have people just give me stuff. I'm built to give. Yeah. Yeah. I'm built to give. I'm built, I'm, I'm built to go out there and give. Yeah. Take it, take it. Get in the food line and grab a mine and go again. Go around and get a line again. Yeah. <laughs> go from line to line to line to line. When they get to us, we, we can't even fit. There's so much food in that trunk. I'm not built that way. I'm not built that way. I'm not built to be a taker. I'm built to be a giver. I'm built to be a giver. I'm not built to fight a, 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 to not pay the check. I'm built to fight to pay the check. When I came from the world, we used to, we used to be ballers. And we were, Yo, man, I got this, man. I pull out my stack. I said, they put your money away. It ain't no good. They'll fight no more. They put on the table. Get this out of here, man. Your money no good here. Then you join the church. Bill comes. I gotta go, man. Look at the time. My God. I'm sorry. See, I, I went to a white American church, and they have money. And when we used to go out to eat, the men's ministry, whatever ministry. They will fight. I got that person. I got that person. I got, I got, I got. In some churches, I'm not saying mine, in some churches, who got me, man? Can you hook me up, baby? 
Can you? At least he got quiet all of a sudden. Hallelujah. No, no, I'm not built that way. The idol of selfishness. I'm trying to find somebody who to get over on. You know that. You know. <laughs> yes, and let me just warn church people, don't be gullible. Amen. Don't you think you're giving to everybody is the right thing to do? You better pray before you give. You better pray. Am I boring anybody? Somebody make sure the neighbors are awake. I got too many closed eyes here. Hallelujah. I think they got they need some drops. They got some allergies. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Bow down. If not, I'm gonna I'm gonna burn you. The pressure is that you can't live without that. Amen. That idol that the devil has set up. You need that thing. You need that place. You, you need that item. You need that person. You need, you can't, you can't. You're too old, you're too ugly, you're too fat. Somebody say ouch. I'm just kidding. Hallelujah. You need this. If you don't, you're going to die. You're going to burn up with it. Be thrown into a blazing fire. Verse 7. Therefore, as soon as they heard the sound of the horn, the flute, the zither, the lyre, the harp, and all kinds of music, and all the peoples and nations and men of every language fell down and worshiped the image of God of gold that King Nebuchadnezzar has set up. Everybody else is doing it. The church down the street is doing it. I know this Christian that's doing it. They're involved over there. They got a little drink of they get their drink on. It ain't no problem. The Bible doesn't say don't drink. Well, hello. It don't, it don't say don't smoke no herb either. Snort cocaine. They don't say none of that, but we know it's wrong. And be not intoxicated with wine, but be filled with the Holy Ghost. One knocks out the other. Don't, don't, don't be a, I can do both. That's the problem. Because they want you to bow and say, do both. God accepts it. God does not accept that. He says, do good everywhere. Do good and don't do bad. And anything that will get you to stumble or make your brother stumble, don't do that. You're not built that way. You're not built to be a drunk. You're not built to be a drag addict. You're not built to be. Uh, <sighs> Verse eight. At the same, at, at this time, some astrologers came forward and 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 snitch, denounced the Jews. They said to King Nebuchadnezzar, "O king, live forever. You have issued a decree, O king, that everyone who hears the sound of the horn, the flute, the cymbal, the lyre, the harp." Pipes and all kinds of music must fall down and worship the image of God. And that whoever does not fall down and worship the image of God shall be thrown into a burn, blazing, blazing furnace. But there's some Jews whom you have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Mesach, and Abednego, who pay no attention to you, O king. They neither serve your gods nor worship the image of gold you have set up. He said, he said, King, 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 everybody else is doing it. Everybody else, every color, every creed, every nation, all right, and, and everybody is doing it. Every language, people that, that speak that speak English, Spanish, Chinese, Russian, ghetto, straight up. Uh, everybody's doing it. But we've got some church folk that refuse to do it. We got some Christians that are not doing it. We don't like them. They, 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 they're the troublemakers. They're the ones that say they're not built to bow. Amen. They ain't going to do it no matter who does it. They say no. No. They're not built 
They're not built that way. They're not built to give up. They're not built to give in. They're not built to give out. No, 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 no. Their strength is renewed like the eagle. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They're not built to give up and to give out and to give in. They're not built that way. They say they're not going to do it. They're not going to worship your idol. They're not going to worship your God. But you know, I, I saw on television, on the radio, they got some great teachers, and they say that you should bow. You'll be with everybody else, and, you'll, and, 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 and they'll love you. They must be right and you wrong. The king's decrees and his orchestra, and, and his orchestra, a whole bunch of players in the group, Verse 13, furious with rage, Nebuchadnezzar summoned Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. See, so, so, the, the, the devil's going to get mad when you say, I'm not going to bow. Uh, people are going to get mad when you say, I'm not going to bow. The government is going to get mad when you say, I'm not going to bow. The politicians are going to get mad. The queen, the Supreme Court justices are going to pass laws against you. Hallelujah. They're going to be mad. They're going to be upset. They're not going to like you. They don't like your Christianity because your Christianity is, is, is just too holy. It's so you got to act. You're just human. So you, just, you, you got to hold. You got to be committing sin. Why not get your drink on? Why not? Why not flow with everybody else? Why not give in and, and change your wardrobe? Because you should be you should be more sexy. You, you, you look like an old maid dressing like that. You should dress like us. They ordained some ministers uh, uh, yesterday in the assembly of God, and 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 and, and pastor that was ordained is, is, is known for her booty viciousness. Her jeans are so tight and, and she's so form fitting and, 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 and her leggings are so tight you can see if she's cold or not. And she got her dame showing up her with her with, with her with her big self. See the temptation is to be sexy and not holy. I gotta go. The temptation is trying to lure them with your body instead of your anointing. Tempted. Tempted. Tempted to just, just, just go ahead and buy it because they don't make dresses like that. You know what we used to have? We used to have tailors. Amen. Amen. And the church women were always dressed with slacks that were loose. Let me, let me school you ladies. Loose. And after the slacks were loose, am I right, ladies? Huh? They will cover them up with it. Now the temptation is to dress like the world. You got to show them a little bit, Pastor, so they can want you. I got, I got the temptation. The temptation. Hallelujah. The temptation. The three Hebrew boys said, no, 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 king, king, I don't think so. The king got so upset, he says, I heard you don't want to bow down to my image and worship my God. Can I tell you, let me tell you this, why I just mentioned the both things there? Because one thing has to do with the other. One thing really means the other. When you do these things, you really are. Worshipping the world's idols. Yes. You really are involved in idolatry. You're really doing it like the world does it. You're really going after the world. You're really serving their God. But I'm not built that way. I'm not going to serve their God. 
I'm not built to give up on people. I'm not built to give up on my son's salvation and my daughter. I'm not built to give in to people's salvation. I'm not. You can backslide a hundred times and Pastor Ramos will still go get you. I'm not built like that. I'm going to say, well, you messed up. You know, this is your umpteen time, so I'm done. Like women say when they, they can't change a man. I'm done, Pastor. I'm done. You better come and get him. I'm done. Moving in with you. No, you're not going to give me that. Bring him to your house. I'll help him, but I ain't going to move in. I'm not built to give up on my son's salvation. Hallelujah. Can I tell you something? My son has graduated in the universities. He's graduated in his marriage. He's graduated with kids. He's graduated with possessions. But, 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 what made this old man dance was when he gave his heart to Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I don't know that all that is good, but when I dance, when this old man said, yes! I ain't, I ain't built to give up on people's salvation. I, I, I'm not built that way. Hallelujah. And I'm not built to give up on people's holiness standards. People want me to change. Pastor, why don't you change? Why don't you become more contemporary? Why don't you get the leaders of your church to, to, to look crazy and do crazy and be crazy? Hallelujah. And then more people will get saved. Bring it up there in the pulpit. And let them minister. Doesn't matter. I'm not built to give up on the holiness standards of my son. Of my kids. You got to keep preaching. You got to keep telling you got to keep demanding. You got. You don't submit. You don't bother me. You tell them, oh no, we still not smoking. We still not joking. <laughs> we still not into that foul stuff. We still dressing like Christians. We're still talking like Christians. We're still thinking like Christians. We're still into holiness. Holiness without. Nobody's going to see the Lord. I know we just worry about the food, Pastor. You gotta, you, you, you gotta, you gotta move on, Pastor. You gotta, you gotta, ah, ah, ah. I'm still not giving up. I'm still not bowing to my church people and others to walk. I'm not gonna make allowances. I'm not gonna make allowances. I'm not gonna make allowances. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to allow what God doesn't want me to allow. I'm not going to bow to that. I'm not going to give place to that. I'm, 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 not, I'm not. I don't care what you're the pressure. Oh, we won't be your friend. I'm a, you're not going to be invited to the Christmas party. We're not even going to answer your phone call. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my. The king says, when he, he speaks to them, he says, um, look at this, look at this up front. I'm, I'm just going to jump over here uh, and, and I'll let you go, I promise. It says here in verse um, 15, you got it? Say amen. Follow me. When the king addresses the guys, you know, and tells them, you got to worship my God. I heard you're not going to worship my God or, or my image. In verse 15, he says, Now when you hear the sound of the horn, the flute, the cedar, the lyre, the harp, the pipes, and all kinds of you, all that man's whatever you, uh, if you are ready to fall down and worship the image I made, very good. But if you don't worship it, you will be thrown immediately into a burning furnace. Then what God will be able to rescue you from my hand? Hear the arrogance. What is God going to do? What God going to be able to do it? Uh, he's insulting God and he's insulting God's people. If you don't bow, you're going to see what becomes of you. Uh, you got to go along with Easter egg hugs, Pastor. If not, your church won't grow. 
So we don't have pagan customers here. The worst thing people do, they bless the pork that they eat. Hallelujah. What a challenge to God and God's people. Amen. Do I have to bow? Do we have to bow? Do we have to bow to worldly practices? We can't have a party unless you're open bar, Pastor. We need a party with beer and, and, and liquor, and, and, and we need we need to have some worldly music going on so that we can have fun and celebrate the wedding. Do we have to bow down? The three Hebrew boys got spiritual bonus and, 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 and said to the king, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. Modern English, we don't even got to talk about this, player. With this, 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 we, why are we talking about this? You know the standard of a holiness church. You know we don't, we don't bow down. We never have and we never will. We ain't falling in it no matter what. We don't bow down because we're not built that way. Hallelujah. Come on, stand. I'm going to dismiss you. You're going to get your plate on and go about your business. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jim. Don't bow down, they said. And because they didn't bow down, the king tied them up and threw them into the fire that was increased seven times as hot. And you know what happened to them in that fire? Jesus showed up. Jesus showed up and they encountered God's divine ability. And on top of that, that which had them bound, burned off. That which you may have you kind of bound still will come off you when you don't bow down. And not only will it come off you, they said, when, when this happened, the fire did not even touch them. They came out of the fire and the king said, promotion. 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 When you don't bow down, that's when you're going to be promoted. That's when you're going to encounter. That's when you're going to see. That's when you're going to have. When you don't bow down, not when you do. Church, you go against your very nature as a Christian when you bow down. Amen. The temptation is to bow down. To do it the world's way, the government's way, the counselor's way, the friend way, the hood way, the neighborhood way, your people's way. Come on, raise up your hands. Yes. Heavenly Father, yes. there's some stuff that come and tempt your people here. Yes. They will be tempted to bow down and go the culture's way, the leader's way, the people's way, even worldly church way. I pray, oh God, for divine impartation. I pray for an attitude that says, we ain't going to bow down because we're not built that way. Hallelujah. We're built in the exact image of Christ, of God himself, and God does not bow to anything. Lord, we pray for your breakthroughs in our lives, for those things, the divine impartation. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for our fellowship food. Hallelujah. Some are going to take it to go. Lord, I pray it be nourishment to their bodies. And that you would make them truly grateful. And be able to even always to remember those less fortunate. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen. God bless you. Thank you for holding on a little bit. Come on, go out there. And, and um, there's going to be some serving over there. Come on.